And welcome back. Uh, well, coming up uh, in just, uh, well, about, I think about um, one day. <laughs> I was looking at the day here. I was thinking it was Friday. No, tomorrow is their Earth Day celebration, and Concerned Citizens is having a, an event. We have uh, two folks from Concerned Citizens, Irv Snyder and Shari Horn. Nice to see you both. And uh, is this the, uh, the day uh, tomorrow, the actual Earth Day around, uh, around the world, or it's just the day that you're doing this event? It's the day that we're doing it. Okay. It is April 22nd uh, every year, and uh, sometimes we're able to have a room available to do it. Mm -hmm. and again, tomorrow is our day. All right, very it's, good. It's going to be a Clubhouse One at, at 2 o'clock. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing. Tomorrow. We're going to have a film, an 11 minute film and a discussion about it. We're going to be talking about Fukushima and we're going, the Energy Club is going to be there and Disaster Preparedness Task Force is going to be there and we're going to have recycling bags to give away and so raffle, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yes, and it's, what's very nice is we also have uh, a table for El Toro Water District and for the Energy oh, Club. Oh, very good. Yes. And uh, you brought along, and I will try and get a, a, a shot of this, things that you can re recycle. And one of the things that, you know, we were talking about right before we came on, that a lot of times trying to recycle one or two things, it, it's more difficult than it should be. It would be nice just to have, even where I live, we have our, uh, I live in a single family home, but there's, you know, you have the recycle bin and the one for the uh, garden and all that kind of stuff. But even then, it'll say, this is what you can put in, this is what you can't, and you're like, come on, let me just put this in here and, and be done with it. And some cities do that. When I used to live in Huntington Beach, they have one of the best programs around, because you don't have to think about it. They do their own recycling. Are you saying everything goes in, including garbage, and then they... Huntington Beach, yeah, believe it or not, they, they actually do that. And I didn't believe it, and I called them once. This is when I lived up there about 10 years ago. And they go, no, you can come down to our center. You throw everything in one bin. And they had a separate one for garden, I think. And it goes down the line, and we pick it out. And, it's, and on their local uh, TV station, they actually had a film on it. And I watched it, and I go, wow, that was the easiest thing because you never had to think about it. You course, just threw it in. Yeah, and of course, one of the biggest problems we had here uh, involved people putting garbage into the recycle bins. Right. And once it got contaminated at a certain percentage, uh, where would end up taking everything that was in that recycle bin and taking it to the landfill. Mm -hmm. So that was something that we focused in on trying to have people not put uh, what they'll call putrescibles. putrescibles. In fact, when we did the recycling program, it was really amazing because we, we monitored the garbage bins and because mm -hmm. they were overflowing frequently. But when we started the recycling program, week by week, the amount of trash in the recycle bin went up and the amount in the garbage bins went way down and our tipping fees have gone way down. So the mm -hmm. amount that we're actually sending to the dump is much less, mm -hmm. which is much better for the environment. And Yes, it might be easier to put everything in there together, but it's better to separate it out with the clean recyclables, cleaner. Mm -hmm. But as the price of commodities goes up, even where is taking things that are less clean, but they still have to be clean, which takes even more energy. And in these days when climate change is an issue and being more and more talked about, the less energy we have to use and the less water we have to use, the better. Mm -hmm. The better for the planet, the better for us as a civilization. The planet will be fine. It's us that's going to be suffering. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, we have, um, beyond that, the recycling bins here, we also have the ability from the city that several times a year they will come out and collect certain things as well. Old appliances and whatever it may be. Well, they have a monthly pickup on that. Yeah. In fact, sometime later this month, uh, the I think it's called the bulky item. Right. Goods, goods, the, the Greater Goods Exchange, goods Exchange Day mm -hmm. at City Hall. 
right. where people can bring uh, items that have no functional use anymore, mm -hmm. or if they do, they can be put out on tables there for people to come and yeah. take them. And, and also your hazardous waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you that's right. You just drive by now and just drop it yeah. off and sell the light bulbs that you and the electronics. Up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the electronics, your old computers and things like that, and every city does that. I know near me, uh, I, probably once every couple months, there's a local school or church that does something like that. And it's always kind of sad when you're going, you know what, that, a few years ago, that computer cost me $1,200, and now, chirp, there it is, take it. <laughs> I felt the same way about an old transistor radio. You know, yeah. things just change. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But you think about, you see them all lined up that are being uh, taken away, and you're going, there's thousands of dollars that costs. That's the way it is, though, isn't it? Right. But it's good, uh, you know, to get rid of them that way. That's... Uh, a lot of people have um, electronic devices that are not useful anymore. No one wants them. If they get past a certain age, uh, they, you know, no one really wants them. I know that some of those, uh, the schools and things like that, they collect them and they send them to a third party agency where they, they might be redone or some of the parts are taken out of them. And um, many of the um, manufacturers now, a lot of their items, particularly I know Apple products, I think like 90% are recyclable now right. that goes into their product. So, you know, that's a way way to do it. Yes. So, that's really and incidentally, I did want to uh, mention a couple of things sure. here if I have the time. Yeah, and of that course. That is that uh, uh, we, everything is free for our Earth Day. Mm -hmm. uh, the disaster, the uh, disaster preparedness task force will have items for sale, be right. prepared, mm -hmm. uh, and of course with what's going on with earthquakes uh, nearby, it's mm -hmm. uh, something for people to be prepared. Yeah. And I did want to mention that uh, we have a free raffle, and I have two gift certificates and uh, three bags of groceries. Very good. And a fantastic baker is donating a banana walnut bread. Ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very no good. Than that. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, it's open at uh, two o'clock tomorrow at uh, Clubhouse One in the main lounge. And uh, the table's open at four o'clock. No, no, right? no. That's what it says on no. your... No? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm reading from the uh, flyer here. Well, uh, I don't think the table's open until... Oh, until 4 o'clock. Okay. okay. Uh, the events are going to be... So they'll go on beyond going. 2 o'clock. People can come in and uh, uh, get a raffle ticket and, okay. and a seat to watch the short Fukushima video. It's mm -hmm. about 11 minutes. After that, we're going to do the uh, raffle, and it, uh, the movie, the video, will start at 2.15. Okay. Uh, 2.30, uh, we should be finished with the uh, uh, raffle, and then the tables will open up for people to go see. We do have giveaways. Uh, we are going to have a discussion after for those who want to mm -hmm. uh, question and answer about Fukushima and what's still going on. Some people at this point think, oh, that's old hat. Right. It's done and it's over. No, it isn't. And it's unfortunate. I call it the gift from Japan that keeps giving and <laughs> giving. <laughs> so, And uh, you, on the flyer, there's a number, but people don't need to make a reservation. No, no. This. Okay. No, right. that was I want a, to make sure. That was, that was uh, my Just number. Just your contact number. And it okay. was a contact number if anyone had questions. Okay, very good. So again, this is happening tomorrow at 2 o'clock in Clubhouse One. And uh, as you heard, there's going to be a lot of things that you can look out there and uh, some raffles going on. Should be uh, both informative and a lot of fun as well. Now, I just want to emphasize: this is not a place for people to bring things to be recycled. You're not having that no. service there no. tomorrow. Well, we want to no. make sure people understand that because I could see where, you know, they may do that. And you're like, no, yes. no, no, we're no, not doing that. Now, this is a place yes. for people to take things and go. <laughs> okay. Recycling bags, so they'll use it and All maybe right. eliminate some of the and plastic. I do want to say that uh, I wasn't sure 
how many Earth Days we've already done, and I believe this is our seventh. Wow. Yeah. All right, very good. So, Well, I'm sure you get a lot of people out there tomorrow, and uh, nice to see that you've got a lot of participants there. El Toro Water District Energy Club, Disaster Task Force, and the Earthworks Environmental Committee will all be there, so Absolutely. people can get all kinds of information. Yes. Thank you for both coming on. Thank, thank, you, thank you for having we us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Ken. All right. Okay. So again, tomorrow at Clubhouse 1 at 2 o'clock. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you.